What is going on with Belarus? Do people there really believe that doing nothing and drinking vodka and banyas is really going to keep you healthy and safe? And I think in general, people don't trust this government. They didn't trust Soviet government during Soviet Chern during Chernobyl tragedy, and the same they don't trust what's happening now. So you think it's similar to the the Chernobyl tragedy? People they were denying it then, and they're denying it now, and same same flavor, same policy. I think that's the best comparison to what's happening now here, because officials do not uh, tell the real numbers. The Ministry of Health stopped publicizing the information about the numbers of the victims and death from coronavirus. Uh, also, they say that uh, you shouldn't be worried. So are people buying it? I just saw behind you a, a boy walking around with a mask. People must know that something is going on. Yeah, I think I think majority of people they follow follow news. They know about they know about the situation. Some of them wear masks. Some of them uh, bite. But I think majority they understand that authorities are lying. And the question is, where is this limit of lie acceptance? How much and how long people are ready to uh, to be calm about this? Why? Why, why is he doing this? Everyone else in the world has says, yes, this is a problem. And it's not their fault. It's not the government, the, the government of Belarus's fault that this is happening. So why cover it up? Look, let's remember that Belarus, which is often called as the last dictatorship of Europe, it's also the last system which is nostalgic about the Soviet times. Lukashenko is a strong man. He calls himself Batka, father and he wants to look like almighty guy who keeps everything under control. He wants to uh, look better compared to, to the neighbors. At the same time, he doesn't have much resources to invest and to prevent the pandemic. I think it's exactly what experts are discussing right now. Can this situation and this crisis break the Lukashenko's regime? And I think he really, he's really afraid of the economic situation because economic uh, economy of Belarus cannot survive this. Lukashenko, Lukashenko understands this. This is why perhaps he doesn't introduce quarantine because he knows one month of long lockdown will, will destroy it. And there are two scenarios. One scenario that they will realize and they will say, sorry guys, quarantine must be implemented. We were wrong and they will start publishing information. And the second scenario, they will introduce the um, state uh, of emergency. They will arrest journalists. They will ban uh, websites, news websites, and people will not have access to, uh, to information at all.